Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is another comment video. All right, let's get started. Barbara's going to start us off. She says, Alcazar and Carly were fired. Cameron started that fire at Spencer's birthday party. Spencer thought Cam did it on purpose. Spencer was sent to the children's hospital away from poor Charles. He kept saying he had a big scar under his bandage. I remember that. When the bandage came off, there was a tiny little spot. I remember that because he was all bandaged up and stuff. And we thought it was really a mess for him. Um, Evelyn Garcia says, hello, Evelyn, your name doesn't, oh yeah, I remember welcoming you, welcome, I haven't seen you in the comments though, Evelyn, welcome back. Um, Evelyn says, Cody punched Scott in the face, but he didn't punch Sonny, he sure didn't, he knew who to punch. Um, Evelyn again says, didn't Anna shoot Alex? Yeah, but you know, that don't mean nothing, she probably survived and fell in the water like Penny say, everybody fall in the water and come back. Um, Jason Edie says, hello, Jason. Your name doesn't look familiar. Thank you for commenting and welcome if this is your first time. Jason says, Nicholas owes Ava nothing. They were never legally married. Hayden is still Nicholas's wife. The Cassadines have been holding her up. Victor is not calling the shots. Helena has always tried to get her hands on EOQ. Victor is not Valentine's dad. Edward Quartermain is. Helena and Edward had an affair back in the day. The Quartermains introduced the Cassadines to GH the other day. Mason asked Austin if he wanted to go against her. The only hurt anyone would be scared of is Helena. Mason probably did stab Ava on her orders. Okay, hands, let's break all of this down because, um, okay, hold on, hold on, Jason. Okay. So you're saying they were never legally married because he was still married to Hayden? And wouldn't have Scott seem like Scott would have caught that, especially as many times as they filed for divorce. Y'all let me know about that in the comments. And okay this is an interesting theory because you know it does seem like helena never dies but she has to, how old is she like in real time for her to still be running amok right now um our theory jason for the her was who did we say well we know it couldn't be jennifer oh we said it was the dawn of day um we said the dawn of day because it was in the teeth thing that the dawn of day people was coming back and the her was um daisy like daisy is calling the shots and running dawn of day now i'm gonna tell you what everybody um this valentine being the quarter main is quite interesting let's think and talk about that in the comments because i'm for that wouldn't that be something that would be so i don't even know where we would start with that but i would like for that to happen dex and valentine quarter mains. good job jason thanks and welcome to the comments c2 traveler says i think selena is working with the west coast and slowly taking over sunny's territory i remember they mentioned something about the west coast people not too long ago i think sunny is going to wake up and it'll all be gone and selena will be in charge of i don't think it's alex because robert would know i love the scenes with anna and robert they have such amazing chemistry i used to be mad that they didn't put anna and robert back together there was so much unfinished business especially after robert had cancer and they admitted that they they admitted they were in game for each other i recently read in an interview with tristan rogers and i was able to let the notion be said they don't need a romance whenever i do public appearances and people ask about robert and anna getting married they don't need to Will marriage make their relationship any better than it is now? No, they're just right the way they are now. What happens to married couples in daytime? They get unmarried. Now, Robert is always interfering in her romantic life. He twists the knife. She hates it. But in a way, she goes along with it. Whenever there's an issue and something has to be done, she goes back to him. Yeah, she does run back to like a friend. They're really just good friends. I really never wanted them to get back together. I really wanted Scorpio and Olivia to be together. I really thought it was going somewhere with that. Um, Sandy Moon says, Victor keeps talking about keeping the Cassadine family together, but he's the main one working against them, holding Charlotte and Loki working against Spencer and Nicholas, not to mention Ava. I still think Nicholas is acting guilty, and why won't Jordan press him? What is going on with Elizabeth? Is she going to get help, or are they just going to drag this out another year? No, I think um, we're going to get some action with Elizabeth. Um... After what I just read, this last comment with Jason, what he just left about Valentine not being Victor's son, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because he treats, honestly, he treats Nicholas and them more like a son than he does Valentine to me. So I wouldn't be surprised if what Jason said is right. It makes sense. Helena was going around touching knees with a lot of people back in the day. 
and she loved keeping babies a secret and hiding and you know being slick and you know so I wouldn't be surprised actually it would make it a good story like I said I would like for Valentine and Dex to be quarter mates. that would be good to Dia McGregor hey to Dia I haven't seen you in the comments in a while she says Dex are better being Carly and Jason's son I really think about it people it would be better that way okay <sighs> Tadia wants us to think about Dex belonging to Carly and Jason and let me tell you why that's a possibility I mean oh shit I was I don't know you know it's the stories right it would that would be good shit, either a quarter main or a Morgan which will still make him a quarter man either way it's really good because you know y'all remember uh, i know i keep bringing up the old stories but they did it on other soaps all my children erica ended up having um a son i can't remember his name he was a cutie pie but he got killed off but he was cute and she ended up having three kids at the end of the day. They gave her Kendall and the boy. And then we know she had Bianca from birth. But then they brought in those two other kids. So, you know what, Tadia? Let's go for it. If it happens, I'll watch it. I think it'll be a good uh, twist. Robin Anthony says, I remember there was a who the daddy question regarding Avery. I remember briefly that it was. They did kind of touch on it on the soaps. But nothing came of it. They kind of just concluded that she was Sonny's. But if they want to shake something up, let Morgan come back and find out that that's um, that Avery is his. That'll be good, too. Robin says, I'm laughing, Scooby-Doo. It would be nice if the PCPD could solve one case. <laughs> Have they never solved one? Yes, Esme can be redeemed. But for now, I enjoy the current mess. Yes, I love Esme just the way she is, Sonny. Messy and reckless. And I honestly think that Jordan and the PCPD are going to solve this case. No, because like I said, nobody else is really investigating. I mean, Sonny is guarding Ava. Everybody is being too secretive. So it's really going to be up to Jordan, Lord help us, to step up and solve this case. And I think she can do it. Listen, she's doing her best. Um, Alice Turner says, I think it's just the new Nina that's rubbing me the wrong way. Although the first Nina was a mean girl with Willow, I still like the first Nina better. I do too. I think... The first Nina had a lot of style and it was the look of her. Like I could see her with Sonny right now better. And I probably would have rooted for them a little bit more. And she played crazy really well. Robin again says some characters have a, a natural chemistry. Nina and Sonny have none, which makes it cringy. I agree. I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think it's a natural chemistry either. I like how we see Carly and him and even Carly with Drew. I agree. I don't think it's natural. Angela Johnson says that kiss can't touch Carson. Make make out sex sessions. Forget Nina and Sunny kisses. There there's passion and love. Even though I'm always a Carly fan. I mean, I'm a Carly fan too, but I'm not a Carson fan anymore because I think they're ready to move on, and I think I am too. Let's see what else they can bring us on the soaps. Dehavlin says, "Hey, Dehavlin." She says, "Hello, Baroness, and everyone, Baroness." everyone i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend holiday i did honey i had a good uh this past weekend uh on today's episode sasha went off on lucy uh -huh, and some men at the restaurant i really hope they get sasha some help um yeah that was the scene i was saying if i was lucy i just would have got down and hugged her and brando i felt so bad for sasha but she's gonna get the help i think we said it in the last one i know i'm behind on comments i'm gonna catch up this week um but yeah i think she is gonna get some help and you know after that breakdown Janetta Hancock hello Jeanette you um I'm sorry Jeanette Hancock you don't seem familiar in the comments thank you for commenting and welcome to the hen house she says I think Nina should have some happiness she's had a bad life they should let her have her and Valentin yeah get back together and be happy let another family take the lead instead of Sonny and Carly I absolutely agree we can still see Sonny and Carly do some stuff but not together I don't want them back together but I do want to see Nina and Valentine together because they were good together. I, and I liked her with Charlotte. It was like she was a mean girl with Charlotte. I know it was bad because Charlotte was like a really bossy little girl. But it was funny. And I didn't mind it at all. <laughs> Melissa Beeman says, don't think Portia is going to make it with Curtis. Selena is nice for Curtis or Jordan for Curtis. Mm. Selena is spicy for Curtis. I don't think she's good for Curtis because we saw in some of the previews that I think today he's going to be confronting her like she's going to be in the club and he's going to be like, what are you doing here? 
you know, she's really taking over. I think she's very dangerous for Curtis. What's going to happen is him and Jordan are going to inevitably, inevitably end up back together after this Selena Wu mess. Because like I said, Jordan and Sonny are probably going to have to save, save him from her. I got to make this big. Hold on. Jacarius, Jacarius Naylor. Hello, Jacarius. Um, you don't look familiar. Welcome to the hen house. Thank you so much for commenting. Jacarius says Drew is just a useless character and they should have left him dead. Like, I'm so sick of him. Carly really just needs to be alone. Joss ain't nothing but a mini version of her. And Angela Johnson uh, says Carly doesn't need to be alone, Jacarius. And you know this man. Okay, so I wouldn't mind if they're going to make, um, like I said, <sighs> Carly would be fine alone, just like Sam. But what would she do? do by herself i guess we could watch her build her business and run the haunted star and stuff but like i said if they're gonna have her with somebody fine drew is fine whatever but i would prefer them to bring in somebody new and saucy for her somebody that's like alcazar just bring alcazar back here i'm just gonna stop beating around the bush they need to bring alcazar back because um sunny was always threatened by alcazar and he was like Oh, how can I put it? He was like a good bad guy, but mostly good. I really liked Alcazar. Barbara says Drew looks good with the shadow and without the shadow. Those those chisel cheekbones are very nice, especially when he grins at Carly. Yeah, Ryan Drew is nice to look at on screen. And Barbara says, congratulations on 600 subscribers and climbing. Yes, we climbed all the way to 700 over this past weekend, Barbara. And I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys. Um, and we're just going to keep on growing, I hope, and, and change up, you know, the channel a little bit and make it more efficient. Like I said, we're going to try to do some live calls as soon as I figure out how that works. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here so I can get another video put out to you guys because we have so many comments to get through and so much to talk about. Thanks for listening to me, Jen Hens, and I'll catch you in a minute.